good morning today we'll see the explanation for the experiment diffraction grid so diffraction you are studied in pu diffraction is the bending of light around obstacles or slits so if you take a radiation and if it is falling on an obstacle it will bend so this bending is called as the diffraction so for diffracting we need a device a slit or an obstacle in our case we are using grating as the device for the diffraction so grating on the sheet we can see large number of lines on the glass sheet there will be large number of lines and this line will be an opaque region and the space between the lines will serve as the slit so in this it is written 500 lines per inch that means in one inch of this glass film 500 lines are drawn so we'll be getting a set of parallel equidistant slits so this arrangement is called as grating so grating is used here for the diffract so we have here a source we are using a semiconductor diode laser as a source it is purely monochromatic so it gives only one particular wavelength and here the wavelength is around 650 nanometer and this light coming from that source is allowed to fall on the diffraction grating as i said this is having 500 lines per inch and to catch the diffraction pattern at a distance a screen is set on the screen you will be able to see the diffraction pattern so diffraction equation is so you have studied from the crystal diffraction the Bragg equation that is 2d sine theta equal to n lambda this is called as a Bragg equation or diffraction equation so in this case 2d so d is the slit width theta is the angle of diffraction n is called as the order of the spectrum and lambda is the wavelength of the monochromatic light so in this case when you use the grating you can write this as 2d you write as the slit plus the opaque region distance totally so you name this as d this d is now the slit is having a width and the spacing is also having a width so this totally this is a plus b that is taken as d so we will reduce the equation to d sine theta equal to n lambda now what is this d this is this this distance that you will be getting from the lines drawn on the grating sheet we have here 500 lines per inch so in 1 centimeter there will be 500 by 2.54 lines this is per centimeter so in 1 meter you will be getting 500 into 100 by 2.54 this is per meter this much lines are there per meter so if i take it this as n d is reciprocal of this 1 by n will give you the d value so if you calculate d from this you'll be getting this d value as the reciprocal of this n you'll be getting it as 5.08 into 10 to the power minus 5 so that is the d value so that's a constant so depending on the grating which you are using d value will be there theta you have to measure from the experiment n also you have to take from the experiment lambda is the wavelength what we are using here as a uh, laser source so in this case you will arrange this source laser source at a specific place and from the source the grating is placed and from this grating at a specific distance a screen is placed so if i keep the screen at a distance d d centimeter 
so from the source you will be getting light radiations so if the grating is not kept straight it will be falling here this is the center point so once this fall on the grating diffraction takes place so the diffraction will bend to the ray so i'll take the ray coming in this direction so i'll say this is the center spot where the undiffracted laser radiation spot this is the first bright spot we are getting on the screen so this is called as the first order diffraction same way on the other side also we will be getting the first order diffraction so on both the sides we will get first order same we will be getting second order diffraction at another position so on both the sides so several orders of maxima points we will be getting on the screen this points we have to mark on the paper so on the screen here we will keep a paper and on the paper you will be getting this diffraction pattern so center will be getting a bright point first order two points almost equally spaced on both sides and second order also two points on both sides third order like this so many orders of brightness will be getting on the screen so in the experiment what we are going to do is we will mark these points diffraction points on a sheet of paper then from this distance from the first maxima on one side to the first maxima on the other side will give you the distance of first order this will take us two times x1 same way distance of this second order maxima on both the sides will give 2x2 third order will give you 3 or 2x3 like that you can measure the distance this is the experiment you have to measure these distances now from this what we are getting is if i have this d and the first order maxima suppose if it is falling here i am getting top on one side to the bottom you are getting this as 2x1 first order on left side and right side this distance you are measuring as 2x1 so distance of the maxima first order maxima from the center on one side i can write as x1 okay so this is the angle of diffraction the angle of diffraction you can even take from tan theta tan theta is opposite side that is x1 by adjacent side d or theta is equal to tan inverse of x by d or x1 by d for first order you write it as x1 second order you write as x2 any order if you take nth order i will write it as xn by d so this two distances if you correctly measure will be able to find out what is the angle of diffraction another method to find out the angle of diffraction is if you take this right angle triangle this is d adjacent side is d opposite side is x1 so this hypotenuse will be root of d squared plus x1 squared so sin theta i can directly say this is x1 by d root of d squared plus x1 squared so in our case what we are going to do is we are taking the tabular column like this so we will keep the distance first at 100 the distance between the screen and the grating this is grating this is screen screen to grating distance will fix at 100 centimeter a large distance then on the paper which is fixed on the screen we can mark the diffraction maxima points and from these mark points we can find out what is the distance between maxima points on both the sides for first order you will note as 2x1 so this you are getting as 2xn so the first order you will be getting 2x1 second order you can measure as 2x2 third order 2x3 like that any number of orders you can measure and from that we can calculate what is xn half of this will give you xn 
then theta you can calculate using this equation tan inverse of x by t. So, d is fixed here for the first order you have an x n value using that you can get what is theta n. This way you can calculate. So, in this case lambda you can write as d sin theta by n. So, d already you have measured theta value you know. So, sin of that theta value you can get from that expression and n first case is first order. So, using this we can find out what is lambda. This is repeated for other two orders. For all these orders lambda we can find out. Remember this is the wavelength of the same source. So, this should be almost same. Now, if you see the diagram, see the if you change the grating from the source, see this distance if you change, if I make source here, diffraction pattern will not change. Instead, if I change the position of the screen, if I bring it here, screen at a smaller distance, as you see here, the pattern will be at a closer point distance. To show this, we will take another distance, so another set of distance. So, first one trial we did with 100, another trial with 80 centimeter. Same way on a sheet of paper again we will mark the diffraction pattern and from the pattern we will be measuring the distances, angles and find out the wavelength. All this lambda value should be very close to each other. So, the average of this 6 values we can write as the result wavelength of the laser radiation you can calculate from the average. This is the experiment. So, in the setup what we are using is you are having the stand on the stand you will be mounting the grating. So, the laser source is aligned correctly in front of this grating and the spot of light should fall on the grating glass sheet and in front of that a screen is set up. So, the distance of the screen you have to specifically fix say at 100 centimeter if you are fixing you will be getting the spot of light you are fixing a paper on the screen and mark this spot of light center one and first one second one third one on left side and right side you can mark then after taking that marking you have to measure the distances from the distances easily you can calculate this and to do it for another distance change the distance and again repeat the same thing okay this is the experiment Thank you.